Hello my Virgo friends and welcome to today's video. We are doing a cleaning video today and it's gonna be what's behind this door. Now, my mechanical room slash storage room is where we store everything. And a lot of the time I'll give things to the kids and I'll say, hey, go put this in the mechanical room, please. And then they'll, instead of putting it on a shelf like I would do, they throw it in and then leave. And so I came in here yesterday and I was like, oh man, this room needs some work. And I have about an hour before I have to go pick up Andrew and Tyler from their cake decorating class. Ryan's doing movie time right now. And Haley's gone at a camp, like an overnight camp. So I thought we would take this hour and try and make an improvement on this room. So. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Let's go look at it. Um, this is what it looks like right now. There's stuff all over the floor. Like, why? Like, why? When I ask the kids to put these chairs away, like, they go in this back corner. No, they're in the middle and trip on them. Why is the syrup there? Like, I don't know. So, <laughs> oh man, let's get going. It's silent in dismay It won't break this feeling down If I conquer this my way I'd devour, I'd surround If it hurts you just a little Then it heals you when it's done Disappointment is the anchor Resolution is the sun I like to keep these to store stuff in Navy beans, I have a lot of them. So we're gonna dump a bunch of bags of these in here. See if I can get rid of this box down here. Okay, that is better. It's by no means perfect, but I can walk in here and not triple over everything. Most of the stuff is now up on the shelves where it belongs. I realize that this looks like total chaos to you, but I know where everything is. I have a mix of food items, cleaning products, wedding gifts. When my kids get invited to birthday, parties and stuff. I have a box here and a box over here that I'm like, oh, go check the gift box. There's gift wrapping things here. I do have a couple of things for Haley for college that are in some of these boxes. Dishes and things like that that we're just kind of waiting. Yes, I know it's in four years, but soap, shampoo, that kind of thing. Okay. And then of course clothes that it's like winter clothes I've pulled out because it's summer now that my kids will use again next year. All of that is in here. Let's flip around. I just want to show you guys my cereal stockpile, which if you've seen any of these other videos of this room, you know that this, as is all the cereal I have, is probably the least amount of cereal I've ever had, like since I moved into this house, basically. I made it a goal to not buy any cereal. I've seen cereal, 99 cents a box, and I didn't do it. I didn't. I was like, I'm going to go through all the cereal and we're going to have none. Of course, I still have pasta. That's going to wrap me up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and tell me in the comments what you are working on in your house. What rooms are you trying to organize? What are you trying to get rid of? Are you pulling a con Marie? Are you not about that life? Tell me what's going on with you. I really am trying to cut down on my books because she said you only need like 30 books or something. I call BS on that. 30 is like such a small amount of books. I really have a hard time with that. Anyway, I'm feeling good. It only took about 25 minutes to just pick up the bear, give it a little bit of a facelift. It's not a deep organize, but you know, if you've only got 20 or 25 minutes, pick something and go at it, watch some YouTube, see what you can get done. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video.